This is the Old Musician's Blog, number 38. You know, in a lot of ways, it seems preferable to be anonymous. There's a choice to make. Well, sometimes there's a choice to make. So it seems, in the sense that I can post this video up in various places. Now, I like the Steemit platform because I don't know anybody there. And so my interaction has a kind of a safety zone for myself. And I wonder, is it just me that feels that way or is that something that's a kind of a, a regularity amongst people? that it's easier to interact when you don't know the people personally and they don't already have a preconceived idea of who and what you are. And sometimes I wonder, because my postings to uh, DTube, which is the Steemit YouTube clo clone derivative, uh, you know, had so many error readings and I spent so much time just waiting for the upload that I, I, I kind of, I still occasionally will post to the DTube, but mostly I've been posting up on YouTube. And, um, you know, I'm fortunate at the moment to have a sense of anonymity there because the people that, um, that know me personally, uh, 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 you know, don't seem to uh, go there, which is interesting to me because one of the first things, you know, I do when I find out that somebody has a YouTube channel is I go and I check out their their stuff, you know, or even their Facebook, you know, I, I like to go check it, check it out and see what's, see what's what, you know, and, uh, you know, whether there's friends in common, what their, um, what their posts and their particularly photographs. I, I think the people's, uh, the photographs that they leave in, uh, you know, on their uh, Facebook or other social media sites are most interesting. Now, some places have even less uh, personal inter interaction for me, like uh, Twitter doesn't seem to have hardly any personal interaction. Uh, and there's a few people that you know, upvote my posts or I uh, repost things from them. Um, but uh, lately I've been finding it a little, a little bit uh, political and that's the same goes for Facebook. I mean, it's just all over the place, you know. And, um, uh, uh, you know, while I uh, support anyone who, you know, is not dropping bombs on anything, uh, uh, you know, other than that, you know, uh, I think that these, uh, these, um, uh, these people and their situations are becoming more and more irrelevant. And that's anyway, at least, uh, you know, from the point of view of the, uh, of the approaching uh, technological uh, acceleration. And um, uh, that, uh, you know, uh, I don't think that we can directly shift things, though I'm starting to uh, like the ones that are, uh, uh, you know, are uh, uh, anti-war in all of its varied forms. And uh, that seems to be a hard thing for, uh, you know, Americans generally to, uh, to uh, 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 get, get away from. So long, so much, you know, that one starts to think that, well, you know, it's like we're kind of like chimpanzees, you know, we're kind of a violent culture, and that's just, you know, what humans are. I don't know if it's all humans or, or you know, it certainly does seem to be, you know, the, the, the ones that make, uh, that make the big bombs and shoot the big guns. And, uh, Consciousness shift 
by approaching it directly on that level, or does it have to shift through a shift of the dimensional thinking into another another uh, 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 location where where the thought patterns that one is putting out are coming from the place of peace, prosperity, plenty, and a world of caring for each other. Can that be so? Can that be possible? <laughs>